Saturday, May 14, I'm going to do an update on the market coming this week. Last week, we reached bear market levels in the S&P 500 June futures contract. It got down to 38.70, which was ultimately our short-term and intermediate-term target. Having reached it at this point, what to expect? Well, several things that are important. Number one is we consider time more important than price. The work that we do is based upon cycles, and the cycles are still down. They're likely to continue to be lower until June 27th and possibly July 16th. We mentioned that earlier as the potential time where you might consider going long at least for a few months over the summer. In the meanwhile, however, having reached the support level, and having also touched the 20% level for the S&P, people are talking now about a bear market. It looks like it's visible. It showed its face. Will it show any further claws? This is the question. Well, from what we can see, it, se it seems very likely that we're going to have another update potentially on Monday the 16th, and that there is likely to be continued downside action at least until May 24th. And at that point, if the market does not go much lower than this 3,800 level, which is probably the case, then you'd expect to see a decent rally into the early to mid-June time frame. June 6th comes up and June 16th come up as potential high points. If so, it's conceivable that there could be a, a rally up into as high as 4,400 on the S&P, which from 3,800 is a 600 point rally. It's fairly meaningful. It would be the largest rally that we've had since the March 15th uh, to March 30th rally. However, it's still a bear market rally. And then in June, whether it be starting early June or mid-June, we're likely to see continued downside, potentially fairly vicious decline that would take us to our intermediate low, which is expected in late June or mid-July. At that point, that the sequence that started January 4th and that will be over by July, that six-month decline phase, should have a decent rally after it. A decent rally meaning uh, a few months where the market uh, shoots up potentially at least until September 2nd, Labor Day, and potentially large enough so that one might want to consider uh, buying certain stocks that are outperforming and holding their own during this decline phase. The large stocks, the Amazons, the Apples, and such, they are not necessarily the ones to be considering uh, because they're going to show more weakness than expected, and the weakness will not be undone over the summer. So I would say stock picking is very essential if you're going to buy anything in this market to be careful as to which equities you approach. The interest rates and the continued rise in interest rates is also still likely at least through the next few months so that putting money in the bank is not a stupid idea either, buying T-bills and such, because you'll get 10 times the interest, you know, we were getting a quarter of a percent a couple of years ago, now we'll be getting two and a half, three percent for free and without any risk. Longer term, after this rally over the summer, we do expect the bear market to continue and even be more severe in 2023 than we've seen in 2022. The 2022 market is following fairly closely the 2000 market 22 years ago, and it's also following the 1960 market, which had a, uh, a reasonable bounce, but again had a larger decline later, and it's following the 120-year um, cycle, which is important for many markets, and that one also is kind of mild-mannered in 2022 and speeds up in 2023. So um, start thinking in terms of what do I do with my money other than put it in the stock market and start thinking about alternatives that may make sense. Gold may not make sense. 
interest rates may not continue to go up after this year, even though they look so appealing right now. However, for the time frame that we're in, there's still a, a valid uh, area to put money into bonds. And um, we are going to be offering knowledge. We're going to be offering courses in the future. And uh, those courses will give you additional information on what the markets are going to do and also developing your own skills and techniques that we use, which have been what we're using to make these videos, for example. Some of those techniques will become available for, you know, we'll be, we'll be selling that information. But nevertheless, these are extremely powerful and useful tools to help you to potentially make money and at least not lose it. All right, I want you to uh, know there's an eclipse tomorrow on uh, Sunday and uh, the 15th, and there's probably going to be some weirdness in the market on Monday. Expect it potentially to continue sharply higher as if it means something, and then it's going to probably falter and come back all the way to the lows or, or further uh, within the next 10 days after that. Thanks a lot.